Welcome, everyone, to a crucial discussion on colon cancer, a topic that demands our attention and understanding. In this video, we delve deep into the vital aspects of colon cancer, its signs, prevention strategies, and available treatments. Colon cancer is a widespread and potentially life-threatening disease, but armed with knowledge, we can take proactive steps to protect ourselves and our loved ones. Join us as we navigate through the essential information needed to recognize, prevent, and combat colon cancer effectively. Your health is paramount, and together, we can empower ourselves with the awareness needed to tackle this formidable adversary. There is an abnormal growth of cells in the colon, which is part of the large intestine, leading to the development of colon cancer. The colon, being the longest and first part of the large intestine before the small intestine, plays a crucial role in the digestive process, where food is broken down for the body's utilization. While colon cancer can affect people of any age, it is more commonly diagnosed in older individuals. The formation of polyps, which are small clusters of cells, often initiates within the colon. While most polyps are benign, some have the potential to progress into colon cancer over time. However, polyps do not always present noticeable symptoms, underscoring the importance of regular screenings to detect them. Preventive measures for colon cancer include identifying and removing polyps before they become cancerous. Various treatment options are available if colon cancer does occur, including surgical intervention, radiation therapy, and medications such as immunotherapy, chemotherapy, and targeted therapy. It's important to note that colon cancer is also referred to as colorectal cancer, encompassing both colon cancer and rectal cancer, which originates in the rectum. Identifying signs and symptoms early can significantly impact treatment outcomes. Many individuals with colon cancer may not initially exhibit noticeable symptoms. The signs often vary depending on the size and location of the cancer within the large intestine. However, several indicators may suggest the presence of colon cancer. 1. Changes in bowel habits, such as experiencing diarrhea or constipation more frequently than usual. 2. Rectal bleeding or blood in the stool, which could indicate internal bleeding. 3. Persistent abdominal discomfort, including cramps, gas, or pain. 4. Sensation of incomplete bowel evacuation after a bowel movement. 5. Persistent fatigue or weakness, despite adequate rest and nutrition. 6. Unexplained weight loss, occurring unintentionally and without changes in diet or physical activity. These signs serve as potential red flags for colon cancer and should prompt further evaluation by a healthcare professional. Recognizing these symptoms early can lead to timely diagnosis and intervention, improving the chances of successful treatment and recovery. Colon cancer occurs due to genetic mutations in the cells of the colon. Although the exact causes are not fully understood, these mutations cause abnormal growth and replication of cells, leading to the formation of tumors. Here's a breakdown of the process. 1. Genetic changes DNA mutations within colon. Cells alter their normal functioning. These changes instruct the cells to proliferate rapidly and evade the natural process of cell death. 2. Tumor formation. The accumulation of mutated cells leads to the formation of a tumor within the colon. These tumors can grow and invade nearby healthy tissues. 3. Metastasis. In some cases, cancerous cells can break away from the original tumor and spread to other parts of the body through the bloodstream or lymphatic system. Several factors may increase the risk of developing colon cancer. 1. Age. While colon cancer can occur at any age, the risk increases significantly after the age of 50. However, there has been a rise in cases among younger individuals in recent years, though the reasons for this trend remain unclear. 2. Race and ethnicity studies indicate that black individuals in the US have a higher risk of developing colon cancer compared to other racial or ethnic groups. The underlying reasons for this disparity are not fully understood. 3. Personal history Individuals with a history of colon cancer or precancerous polyps abnormal growths in the colon are at an increased risk of developing the disease again. 4. Inflammatory bowel diseases IBD, chronic inflammatory conditions of the colon, such as Crohn's disease and ulcerative colitis, can elevate the risk of colon cancer over time due to persistent inflammation and damage to the intestinal lining. While these factors may contribute to the development of colon cancer, Ongoing research aims to uncover additional genetic, environmental, and lifestyle factors that influence disease onset and progression. 
Inflammatory bowel diseases like ulcerative colitis and Crohn's disease are chronic conditions characterized by inflammation in the digestive tract. Unfortunately, individuals with these conditions face an increased risk of developing colon cancer over time. The chronic inflammation and damage to the intestinal lining associated with these diseases create an environment conducive to the development of cancerous growths. Genetic predisposition is another significant factor in the development of colon cancer. In these conditions, specific genetic mutations inherited from one or both parents increase the likelihood of developing precancerous polyps or tumors in the colon. Family history also plays a crucial role in determining an individual's risk of colon cancer. If multiple relatives, especially first-degree relatives like parents or siblings, have been diagnosed with colon cancer, the risk of colon cancer. Genetic factors passed down through generations contribute to this heightened susceptibility. Physical inactivity is another lifestyle factor that can elevate the risk of colon cancer. Regular exercise has been shown to reduce inflammation in the body and improve overall health, potentially lowering the risk of developing colon cancer. Individuals with certain medical conditions, such as diabetes or insulin resistance, are also at an increased risk of colon cancer. The underlying metabolic disturbances associated with these conditions may contribute to the development of cancerous changes in the colon. Obesity is a well-established risk factor for colon cancer. Excess body weight, especially abdominal obesity, is associated with chronic inflammation and metabolic dysfunction, both of which can promote the growth of cancer cells in the colon. Tobacco use and excessive alcohol consumption are lifestyle factors that have been linked to an increased risk of colon cancer. Smoking exposes the body to harmful carcinogens that can damage the cells lining the colon, increasing the likelihood of cancer development. Similarly, heavy alcohol consumption can disrupt the normal function of the digestive tract and impair the body's ability to repair damaged cells, raising the risk of colon cancer. The radiation exposure can damage the DNA of healthy cells in the colon, increasing the likelihood of cancerous changes over time. Colon cancer screening is essential for individuals to detect and prevent the onset of the disease. Guidelines suggest that individuals at average risk for colon cancer should begin screening around the age of 45. However, those with a higher likelihood of developing colon cancer, such as individuals with a family history of the disease, may need to start screening earlier. The choice of screening method depends on individual factors and preferences, so it's crucial to consult with a healthcare professional to determine the most suitable option. Lifestyle modifications can significantly reduce the risk of developing colon cancer. Dietary changes, such as consuming a diverse range of whole grains, fruits, and vegetables, can provide essential vitamins, minerals, fiber, and antioxidants that may help prevent cancer. Limiting alcohol intake to one drink per day for women and to drinks per day for men, along with Avoiding tobacco use can further reduce the risk. Regular physical activity is another crucial aspect of colon cancer prevention. Aim for at least 30 minutes of moderate exercise most days of the week to maintain a healthy weight and reduce the risk of developing colon cancer. Consulting with a healthcare professional before starting an exercise regimen is advisable, especially for individuals who have been inactive or have underlying health conditions. Maintaining a healthy weight through balanced nutrition and regular exercise is essential for colon cancer prevention. For individuals looking to lose weight, gradual weight loss through calorie reduction and increased physical activity is recommended under the guidance of a healthcare provider. For individuals at high risk of colon cancer, certain medications, such as aspirin, may offer preventive benefits. Regular use of aspirin or other medications has been associated with a lower risk of colon polyps and cancer. However, it's essential to weigh the potential benefits against the risks, as long-term aspirin use can increase the risk of ulcers and stomach bleeding. Ultimately, individuals should discuss their risk factors and preventive options with their healthcare team to determine the most appropriate course of action. Preventive medicines may be suitable for those at high risk, but individuals at average risk should focus on lifestyle modifications and regular screening for colon cancer prevention. Colon cancer is a significant health concern that requires attention and proactive measures for prevention. By understanding the risk factors, recognizing the signs, and undergoing regular screening, individuals can take control of their health and reduce the likelihood of developing this disease. Lifestyle modifications, including dietary changes, regular exercise, and avoidance of tobacco and excessive alcohol consumption, 
play a crucial role in colon cancer prevention. Additionally, for those at high risk, preventive medications may offer added protection. It's essential to consult with healthcare professionals to determine the most suitable preventive strategies based on individual factors. With early detection and preventive measures, we can work towards a future where colon cancer is no longer a widespread threat to our health and well-being. Stay informed, stay proactive, and prioritize your health. Now that you're equipped with valuable information about colon cancer, it's time to take action. Schedule a colon cancer screening today to ensure early detection and improve your chances of successful treatment. Additionally, consider adopting a healthy lifestyle by incorporating nutritious foods, regular exercise, and stress management techniques into your daily routine. Don't forget to discuss preventive measures and screening options with your healthcare provider. To tailor a plan that suits your healthcare provider, to tailor a plan that suits your individual needs. Remember, your health is in your hands. By prioritizing preventive care and making proactive choices, you have the power to safeguard yourself against colon cancer and other diseases. Take control of your health journey, advocate for yourself, and embrace a lifestyle that promotes wellness and longevity. Together, we can conquer colon cancer and live healthier, happier lives. You've got this. Please consider giving us a thumbs up, sharing this video with your friends and family, and subscribing to our channel for more valuable content on health and wellness. Your support enables us to continue delivering essential information to assist you in leading a healthier life. Thank you for watching, and as always, I wish you excellent health, wealth, and happiness with the key to vitality in your hands. Leave a comment about your door to health, so we can share and help each other along our journey towards a healthy life. Thank you for watching, and as always, I wish you excellent health, wealth, and happiness with the key to vitality in your hands.